up you guys dude we are back on the bench and we have got another body for the drag car the dr10 pro drag car um yeah i've ran the uh shark body on there pretty cool i like it but i definitely like my scale bodies a lot more and the nova is taking a beating on the front right there so we went with another body. This time we're going to use the J Concepts, the 1962 Ford Falcon. Dude, very cool body, man. I got this. Uh, someone bought it. Um, they didn't use it. They opened it up, but I got it at a good deal. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, the color I'm going to use on this thing is the uh, PS49 from Tamiya. Um, should be pretty cool. This is a sky blue and anodized aluminum. So, yeah, that should come out pretty good. I'm going to also back it with white. Alright, so I got the body out of the bag. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's a nice little shorty. So, very short. Uh, very squared up in the front there. Kind of like that. Looks good, man. I like the old Fords, dude. The Mustangs, the Falcons, these are very cool, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get this trimmed up, and then we'll get it uh, set on to the car. All right, guys, so there it is. I've got it all trimmed out, and I've got it mounted. Everything is nice and straight. Um, I did leave that front lip on there really big, and the side ones. Um, I'll leave those for now, paint it, and if I want to trim it, I'll trim it later. But I definitely love how that looks, man, with the rounded quarter panels on there. That looks really good. Um, yeah, now I have a lot of clearance now on the stand-up front uh, with the cowl induction on there. There's a lot of room in there now. You could even go lower if you needed to. But I'm liking how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this um, all washed up. And... Um, we will definitely uh, use our liquid mask. We'll get the whole thing masked up and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I think I am going to do the hood in black. The hood and the front bumper, rear bumper in black, and then the rest of it in the uh, sky blue. I think that'll look pretty good. So I, I went ahead and I um, used the liquid masking. Um, I got the body washed, I got the window decals on, and I went ahead and did the uh, liquid masking on the inside. I went ahead and cut the hood away. Um, I got the hood cut out and the bumper. I am going to do the hood in uh, black, the PS5 black. Uh, the bumpers, rear and front, I'll do in the gunmetal, the PS23. And then the uh, base of the car, we're doing these right here, which is a PS49. And then we will back it in the white, the PS1. So we're going to go ahead and get the hood started, get that finished. Usually you paint your dark colors first and then work your way up. So we'll go ahead and get the hood done. And then um, I shouldn't have cut that uh, bumper away, but I did. So I'm going to have to mask that up and then get the hood done and then move on to the bumper. All right. Okay, so there you go. I've got the hood done in black. Um, I went ahead and did the bumpers in the gunmetal, rear bumper and gunmetal. And that's all finished. I'm going to let that dry a little bit there. And then um, I'll go ahead and peel the rest of that masking off. And um, yeah, everything else is just going to be that one color. So I'll leave the window masking on and the outside film. I'll get everything else stripped off of there. And then we'll get going with, um, with the paint. Now, um, on this, um, I am going to just use both cans. I don't know how many coats that's going to be. But I'm going to use two complete cans on this entire thing. Um, I think it'll look really good doing that so that's what I'm gonna do so let me go ahead and get to it all right so we have got all the masking taken off uh, the hood the bumpers are done and 
we are going to go ahead and get our first coat put on there. We are going to use both cans. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first coat put on and then as I uh, continue with the process, I'll show you how that looks. Alright you guys, so there it is. I have one can completely done on it. Um, it's a couple of coats, I would say about maybe two or three coats on there. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I scuffed the body. You could really see it. Uh, hopefully that goes away. Not sure as I get more coats on it. We'll see. But it's looking good now. I like that color. I like that. All right, you guys. There it is. I have the second can on there. This thing looks great under the light, man. I can't wait to get it in the sun. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead now and back it with the white. So it should brighten it up a bit. That looks well good. I like that anodized look. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get that finished and then I'll show you from there. Alright, there it is. It is complete. I've got both cans on there. Um, uh, that is the backer. It is completely done and sealed in in the white. So now, just time to get that wrapping off. Let's see what that looks like. Right, you guys, there it is. It is complete. I've got the decals on it, the side decals, and the rear one. Um, that's all I'm going to end up putting on there for now. Maybe a couple other decals, but that's it. This thing came out great, dude. Now, the next thing is, I didn't put the wing on it, the stock wing that would go here, because I am going to use uh, one of uh, Cald Caldwell's race wings, the Pro Mod wings. So I'll wait for that to come in and then we'll get that on there. Um, I went ahead and threw the other Hoosiers just to see how that would look. But there it is. Looks pretty good. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.